What are the types of clauses? What is a clause? A clause is a grammatical unit that contains a subject and a predicate, and can form a complete sentence. It can be an independent clause, standalone, or a dependent clause that needs another clause to form a complete sentence. Examples of clauses, independent clause, I went to the store. Dependent clause, because I needed milk. Independent clause and dependent clause, I went to the store because I needed milk. What are the types or the kinds of clauses? There are seven types of clauses that you need to know. 1. Independent clause, which is a clause that can stand alone as a complete sentence. 2. Dependent clause, which is a clause that cannot stand alone as a complete sentence, and requires an independent clause to form a complete sentence. 3. Noun clause, which is a clause that functions as a noun in a sentence. 4. Adjective clause, which is a clause that modifies a noun or pronoun in a sentence. 5. Adverb clause, which is a clause that modifies a verb, adjective, or adverb in a sentence. 6. Relative clause, which is a clause introduced by a relative pronoun, e.g., who, whom, whose, that, which, to modify a noun. 7. If-then clause, which is a clause that expresses a condition and its consequence. Now let's start with the noun clause, which is a clause that functions as a noun in a sentence. Noun clauses often begin with words such as what, whether, if, that, whether, how, and whatever. A noun clause functions as a noun in the sentence and can be the subject, direct object, indirect object, object of a preposition, or predicate nominative. It should contain a subject and a predicate and make complete sense on its own. Try to substitute it with a pronoun to identify it, if you can substitute it with a noun or a pronoun, like it, he, she, and the sentence still makes sense, then it's likely a noun clause. Example, what he said is true, what he said is a noun clause functioning as the subject of the sentence. It can be replaced by the pronoun it. 2. What is an adjective clause? It is a clause that modifies a noun or pronoun in a sentence. An adjective clause often begins with a relative pronoun such as who, whom, whose, that, or which. It modifies a noun or pronoun in the sentence, and it provides additional information about it. An adjective clause should contain a subject and a predicate, but it is not a complete sentence on its own. The adjective clause should relate to the noun or pronoun it modifies and provide additional information about it. Example, the book, which is on the shelf, is mine. Which is on the shelf is an adjective clause modifying the noun, book. 3. Now let's discuss the adverb clause, which is a clause that modifies a verb, adjective, or adverb in a sentence. Adverb clauses often begin with words such as when, where, while, since, if, although, because, until, and before. An adverb clause modifies a verb, adjective, or adverb in the sentence, providing information about time, place, reason, condition, concession, and manner. It is not a complete sentence on its own and requires an independent clause to form a complete sentence. The adverb clause should provide information about the main clause and its actions or events. Example, when I finish work, I will go home. When I finish work is an adverb clause modifying the verb, will go, and providing information about the time of the action.